All right, gang. So today I'm going to teach you the best four claw finger setup that you should use for arena breakout. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a bonus five finger claw setup if you have a phone that has built in triggers like I do. All right, then let's get cracking. The first thing that you should do is first of all, get out of here, grab any gun, go into the firing range and then go into ADS in. Try and get a scope with a red dot in the middle like that. You see that red dot? Like a red dot, blue dot or whatever. Anything that's got a dot. And what you want to do, I don't think I have a pen here. I, I don't really have an actual pen, but I've got my iPad pen right here. So what you want to do is where that red dot is, put a dot on your actual phone, like a, like a marker or something. Uh, and, then just, and then just put it in the middle where that red dot is, right? And then after you've done that, go into your settings and then you'll see in the middle, drag your settings button where that actual marker is and then just make it as small as you can click save and then come back out and what that does is it gives you a free red dot site because the game doesn't let you have it when you're not in ads so what that is is that serves as a free red dot for whenever you want to hit fire for example or whenever you want to pre-aim so you can aim and then buy that but and then when you ads in you'll automatically be there because if you're for example pointing up there and then you ads you're not on target, you know what I mean? So you always want to try and lock your crosshair into your target before you ADS in, like that. And having that settings button in the middle is going to help out a lot. Once you've done that, let me explain my entire settings to you guys now. On the top left corner is my boom boom pow corner. Basically everything to do with action. So we've got the shoot button, the prone, the health status model, and also the, the, the items heal cancel button and the quick scope changing button. I will never press any of these buttons at the same time. So the only finger that I need to manage all these buttons is my left index finger. So for example, as soon as I start firing, I can let go of that button and I can prone straight away. Just like that, very easy. So I can now reload safely and securely and likewise i'm in the middle of a fight and then i take some shots i see my character model i have two broken arms red chest red legs i need to stop shooting and prone that character model on the top left is going to tell me my my danger status basically so i can then either carry on fighting or i can take cover straight away if i need to with that my eyes don't really have to travel as far so it's like i'm shooting but where's my health status how am i doing do i need to do i need to prone and, and hide everything is in one place that i need to know asap all right so what i've done now guys is i've thrown the molly over there and then i just damaged myself so i can show you guys how i heal basically i need to i need to prone i need to cover i need to basically find cover and heal let's say i'm healing right now and someone starts to push me someone starts to close the gap between me and them i can cancel it straight away get out of prone and reposition just like that really easy with just one finger one index finger can handle all of these buttons whenever i need to work them okay so now we have the top right button the top right button is everything to do with movement apart from prone now these buttons again not two buttons i will ever have to press at the same time so again my right index finger can handle all of these now i've actually got a five finger setup but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna revert it back to my old setup which is the jump button down here and the lean right button over there so this is my old setup so what this is is the lean the lean left is on the left hand side the lean right is on the right so i'm just switching between the two like that right and then my crouch is underneath all of them and then my jump is right next to the crouch my right index finger can handle all of these on its own so what's happening is if i'm shooting like this and then i need to reload i can lean back in into cover and then reload i don't ever have to press the, the same button at the same time or i can just keep shooting crouch and then reload again I never have to press any button at the same time. Same goes with jumping. Normally, you don't really jump mid-fight. You don't really jump unless you have something to jump over or you're sort of going, going in or going out of a cover like this. So jumping, you don't really tend to do a lot in arena breakout, especially for the fact that it also consumes stamina. So, I mean, it's nice to actually jump out of corners and then start shooting enemies. But you, you won't really do that too often, and that's a very, very advanced move as well. Underneath all of that, I've got my stealth button. So I can just press that so I can I can hit my crouch button, hit that stealth button, and then I can minimize the sound that I make when I move. 
Then we have the emote button on the right hand side. So this is basically your, your way of comms if you can't use the mic in game. You don't really use the emote button unless it's safe to do so. So that's why I put it there and I, I don't really need quick access to it. I can just hide first and then I can readjust my hand and just use my thumb and then give the orders in front of someone. Same with the helmet button on the right hand side you can see there on orange. So if you guys didn't know, you can actually equip masks on your helmet and then you can take that on and off. So right here, and then putting it back on. So masks helps you avoid getting one shotted in the face if you get hit by the... If you get hit in the face with any bullet, you're dead. With the mask, that can help lower the damage and you might be able to survive it depending on the bullet that you get shot with in the face. So yeah, that's a, that's a quick pro tip for you guys. So I put that button over there because again, I don't need quick access to it. I only need to bring it up. If it's broken, if it's really damaged, when I'm safe, and behind cover so i don't really need to use that right in the middle of a gunfight so therefore i don't need that out where the rest of these buttons are all right going back into the menu we've got these two grenade buttons over here one on the left and one on the right this one is cancel throw and this one is to actually pull the pin off of the grenade so you can cook it in your hand before you throw it so you can time it right and as you throw it as it lands it explodes straight away so what happens is when you press and hold that button and you don't want to throw it away you change your mind for whatever reason, you can press that button and then you can let go of that finger and it doesn't throw the throwable for you. All right, the second button is going to be the one on the right that I showed you, which is the cook button, basically. So when you're holding your grenade like this, you can press that button on the right hand side and you can start cooking it in your hand. When I say cooking it in your hand, it means that it will explode in your hand if you don't throw it in time. So have a look at the, um, the indicator that pops up as soon as I press the cook button, a new indicator will pop up. It will start blinking, basically. like that if you don't let it go if you don't throw that grenade it will keep cooking in your hand and it will explode in your hand but if you time it correctly hold it tap it one two throw it as soon as it lands it explodes really good tactic to use against enemies as it doesn't let them actually run away from the grenade as you throw it right moving on we've got my interaction button over here unlocking doors um opening loot boxes and stuff really easy reach of my thumb and it's never going to be in the way so I can still turn freely without being blocked. This hand over here is your looting box. So this basically pops up if you want to loot an enemy, for example, you can tap that. Again, it doesn't block the space where I need to turn with my thumb. And then the bottom section is basically my utility section. So everything around here, all these buttons have something to do with helping me in my fights, helping me in my raids, helping me survive. So over here in the bottom right are my throwables button because I tend to use them more, especially when I'm in the middle of gunfights. I like to have that quick access to grenades. Over here, I've got my check ammunition button. Really, really important. So after I've shot, I can just take over and then press that button real quick to find out how much bullet, roughly how much bullet I've got in my magazine. And then I've got my healing box over here, which is very, very accessible to my thumb. If I need to go to cover heal, I've got that box right underneath my thumb then we have my weapons over here i just kind of kept them where they are they, they don't really need to move uh, they don't really need to move you, you won't find yourself switching back and forth weapons a lot in this game what tends to happen is you will tend to have one gun out ready before you fight and ideally you want to be behind cover at all times so you can switch weapons anyway so it's not like i need to quickly switch my weapons in, in, in other games so these are fine where they are and i can easily reach them with my thumb and then on the far left hand side the pistol i very rarely pull my pistol out it's good to have within reach but you won't really find me using my pistol a lot of the times and as for the rest of the buttons guys you can place them wherever you want wherever you feel comfortable like the bag on the bottom left the map on the bottom left oh as you notice you might have not noticed it but my ads button is actually on the bottom right of my screen i never use this ads button because i wanted to get in the habit you need to get in the habit of leaning to ads in leaning before you take a shot and even if you're standing still even if you get caught by an enemy and someone just runs in front of you you don't want to just like aim in like this you want to sort of move and bob and weave with your head, making your head a harder target to reach for um, by the enemy. So I always either lean left or lean right if I want to ADS in to hit to shoot an enemy or to pre-aim or whatever or to look. Because I don't really ever want to be just aiming, like standing in front of someone and just aiming, because that just makes you a really easy target to hit on the head. But if you turn, if you peek to the right a little bit, your head might just move away a little bit from that crosshair allowing you to survive a little bit longer so that's why i don't really normally use the ads button and i just hit it away all right so moving on as promised i'm going to give you guys a five finger claw hood as well if you wanted to use your trigger 
I don't use my left trigger. I only use my right. So what I've done is I have put the right peak. Let's put the button size over here. I put the right peak on the top right corner. And then what I've done is I've just put my trigger on the top right corner to hit that right peak button and then just put my jump button up here and then just press save. That's it. So I don't really, I didn't really change a lot for my HUD. So if I wanted to peak, I can just use my right index or my right middle finger to switch between the two. It's just a little bit more comfortable for me. And I played games on this phone for like a year and a half without using the triggers. And I felt like I was wasting my money. So I thought, you know what? Let's use the triggers for the hell of it because I might as well get the most out of my money, right? From this phone. So yeah, just left peak, right peak for the right trigger. That's it. That's all I'm using it for. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you want some more quality guys like this in the future, like I said, drop that sub, hit the notification so you know when I drop my next videos. And also, if you did like the video and you found it helpful, please consider dropping a like and help the video go in the algorithm. Anyway, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.